Hey everyone, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. We are about one week away from a major update for the game RimWorld, including its fifth DLC, Odyssey. Since this is a channel dedicated to modding, and since this update to RimWorld means that players everywhere will be updating their mod lists, I want to talk about mod managers. The built-in mod manager for RimWorld is very bare-boned, and available workshop mods that make improvements still lack many crucial features. The best choice for managing a mod list that could stretch into hundreds of individual mods would be an external mod manager. That's where the real power lies. Currently, we are looking at two choices, Rimpy and RimSort. Just to let you know that this is simply an overview video. I won't be covering any in-depth installation of either mod manager, but if you want me to do so, let me know down in the comments and I'll put something together for you in the future video. Let's get to it. On the screen right here, you have two different choices. You have Rim Sort on the left and Rimpy or RimPy, depending on how you pronounce it, on the right. Many of the features are going to be very, very similar to each other and they look very much the same. We'll just start out, you can see basically the different mod summaries on each side, left to right, and get a basic overview of what each mod does. At the very top of Rimpy, you see all your configuration folders and you can auto detect the past. On Rim Sort, you have a file section, you have to open up the settings, but you can have all the same thing and all your functions will be in here. On the right hand side of Rimpy, you're gonna see all your function buttons. You can restore, sort. This is your primary button to keep in mind is your sort button and that's very powerful. We'll address that. You can import mod list. You can save this list to different XML files. And then you have save down there at the bottom of the right hand side. Rim sort on the other hand, it has all of its function buttons down at the bottom. You can sort, save, and even run the game, even though I don't recommend it because you're using up extra resources. You could even clear your mod list and refresh it. If you want to save your mod list, it's going to be a different function. They call it export for Rimpy. For Rim sort, you're going to save your mod list. And you see I have a couple saves and they are XML files. That's the basic function. You're going to have other things that you can look into later on, such as the update log for each is differently formatted, but you can see what mods have automatically update. And both mod managers also have the ability to optimize textures. And I don't recommend doing that on Rimpy because it's very slow. The optimization textures for RimSort are much more updated. The biggest power available to mod managers is the availability to drag and drop over mods from an inactive list over to the active side on the right. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping over a mod and then saving that run list after you've sorted it. Once you've put together a mod list on your right hand side, you're then going to be able to sort them. Over here on the right hand side is sort for Rimpy and down here at the bottom is for Rim sort. What happens when they do that? When you press the sort button, it's going to access different databases available to both mod managers to sort out your mods. They do it in different ways. For Rimpy, it is actually a mod manager database available on the Steam Workshop that you subscribe to. You leave it in your inactive side and you just leave it there forever. With Rim Sort, it has much more larger database activity. In other words, it uses multiple databases that it draws from to sort your mods. You're going to have Steam Workshop databases, Community Rules databases. You're going to have a database builder available through Steam. There's a lot of different things going on here, but basically it's the same idea. It's using a database available to both, and RimSort has multiple sources there to do it. You've built your mod list, you've sorted your mod list, and we'll discuss more about that later. What happens when you save it? Down here on the bottom right, for RimSort, is the save button. On the far right side on the bottom for rim p it's down here for save when you press the save button it writes a modsconfig.xml file that will contain in order all the different mods in the active side of the list that you've now saved if you want to know where this file lives it's under app data local low ludian studios 
RimWorld, and config. And it's going to be down here. You can see modsconfig.xml file. And each time you press that save file, it's going to overwrite that XML file. One important thing to know about sorting on each of the different mod managers is that the sorting will be different. I'll give you an example. You can see this was sorted by rim sort on the left. If I were to sort the mods using rim P, you will see changes. And I want you to watch the XML extensions because it's the most easy thing to find. If I were to press sort on that, XML goes all the way down here at the bottom, which is not exactly the right place for it to be. Technically, it could be right, and it could work just the same way. If I were to save this, even though I think it's in the wrong place, and then come over to rim sort on the left and press refresh, it will read the modconfig.xml file and refresh your list. Now, rim sort says, I don't like XML extensions being all the way down here. So it's going to give you a warning. So I want to go ahead and sort again, save the list. My XML extensions is now back up closer to the top, even though I think it probably, just in my opinion, should be right below the DLC. You press save again, and it's now overriding the XML file again. And if you press restore, you can see XML file is back up here. So all this is doing, all the mod managers are doing is reading the, the mod config XML file and updating the list. You make changes, you press save, it changes the XML file. So as you can see, an external mod manager like rim sort or rim P does make a big difference in your ability to properly put together a mod list. Let's discuss where to get the files. So if you're interested in RIMP, which is an older mod, which may not be updated for 1.6 for various reasons, you're going to have to go over to the Steam Workshop to get it and just put in RIMP Mod Manager Database, and you're going to subscribe to the mod. And like I said, it's just going to live down here in your inactive mod database and just leave it there. But that is not the executable or actually the mod manager. You're going to need to go over and there is a link in the description that you're going to have to get it from GitHub and install it externally. There's nothing wrong with it getting it from GitHub. You're just going to have to do that. And I say there's nothing wrong with getting it from GitHub because you're going to do the same thing from RimSort. Here's my problem. Rimpy the mod manager has not been updated since 2022. The mod author has basically disappeared. We don't know if it's going to be updated for 1.6. And the mod manager itself is woefully outdated. It has many problems. The database that it relies on over here in the Steam Workshop hasn't been updated in over two years. There is no way for anyone other than the mod author, Paladin, to actually update the database because it is a closed environment. So while Rimpy does work, it does, I have noticed it start to make more and more errors in sorting their mod list. As we move forward to a new version with even more database information missing from the mod manager database, you will see more and more errors going forward. And I no longer recommend using Rimpy as a mod manager database when people ask me what they should use. And I've switched over almost exclusively to RIM sort. I adopted it about over a year ago. It was still being built, but it had potential and I wanted to keep it around and watch it. All the information, the mod manager itself and all the databases are only available on the GitHub. Let me go there and show you what I'm talking about. There is a RIM sort wiki that they put together over here on the GitHub and all these links will be in the description. And it will kind of go over FAQ, user guide, development guide, releases, all this information. Eventually, you're going to have to get to going on the GitHub to get the mod manager itself. All the databases that it uses are available on the GitHub as well. And this is where RimSort is kind of on the back end. There are many things that you're going to have to get and build on your own once you install the mod manager rim sort on your computer. It's more work to get rim sort up and running. I'll be very honest with you, but I find that it does a better job 
like I said, also the texture optimization uses a different algorithm that's much more up to date and much faster. So there's a lot of things going on for RimSort. The main thing about RimSort right now, it is open source and is actively being updated. So this is going to be your mod manager of choice going forward. Every day going forward, RIMP is going to become more and more outdated. Since RimSort is an active endeavor, it's going to be more up to date and probably more accurate in your sorting, leading to less errors in your game itself. So between the two, I would definitely recommend RimSort as being your option of choice. Will Rimpy do a decent job? Yes, I think if you keep a mod list under 50, Rimpy's deficiencies will not be as obvious to you. It won't make as many errors, but as you get a larger and larger mod list, those errors will compound. They will roll into a bigger ball of problems for you going forward. So I can't recommend Rimpy anymore. I would definitely say go with RimSort. It's more work to get set up. It's more things to keep track of because all the updates that you have to do to the databases are kind of manual. But I think I can leave that to a more in-depth tutorial. If you wanted to see all that, let me know and I can work on something for you. But since next week, all these mods may not be updated to 1.6, I'm going to be cleaning my mod list and building from new once the mods start to update on the workshop. Many of them are being updated as we speak. A lot of them have already been updated, but that's a topic for a different discussion. So I would say, in summary, go with RimSort, take the time to build your mod manager, and it'll serve you well going forward. That's all I got for you right now. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.